about 10 years ago, we uh, undertook a research program in camera light lamps because we wanted to know what was happening in the brain during a, a so-called mystical state. Uh, in that case, it was a, a state of union or contemplation uh, with regard to God uh, according to the, the belief system of, of the nuns, the Carmelite nuns. And so we, we scanned them using uh, uh, brain imaging. And in that case, it was functional magnetic resonance imaging. And also we use uh, EEG to measure what was happening uh, electrically in the brain. And they were entering into a state of contemplation and we were doing this because uh, before that, uh, about 30 years ago, a few neurologists proposed that there's a, a God spot in the temporal lobe. So we wanted to test this hypothesis to see if it's really uh, the case or not, because it was controversial. And uh, indeed, we saw activation in the temporal lobe, but we saw also other activations in various cortical and subcortical regions of the brain. Um, and we concluded that there's no soul God spot in the brain in the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is involved in a complex neural circuit which mediates the various aspects of uh, spiritual experiences. And these experiences, uh, they include changes um, from um, you know, a variety of viewpoints. They, they uh, involve changes in terms of cognition, emotion, uh, representation of the body, uh, within space, uh, consciousness, and so on and so forth. So it makes sense that uh, these experiences are mediated by large and complex uh, neural networks. I would say that uh, it's very important for people, for everybody, to realize that they are not biological robots completely determined by their neurons, their chemical messengers in their brain, by their genes also, uh, because now we know that we can also influence gene expression. So that's, that's one thing. We're not completely determined. We have a, a, a great impact over what's happening in the brain and also in all the physiological systems connected to the brain. Well, the, the implications of not being totally determined by what's happening in our neurons, our neurotransmitters, our genes, it's enormous because in, in daily life, it means that we have the capacity to be able to change, to alter consciously and intentionally what's happening uh, in various regions of our brain. For instance, if you do, now there are studies showing that if you do simply 15 minutes or 20 minutes of meditation every day, even for a few months, you are changing the way the, the, these regions involved in meditation, uh, the way they operate, the way they work. And if you keep doing this for a bit later, later on, you have even structural changes. You, you, you alter the, the gray matter, the white matter in your brain. So it's, uh, it's tremendous because if you do that, you change your brain, you change your life. You change the way you feel, the way you think. So our potential really as human beings is enormous and it's not been totally explored yet. Uh, there are lots of things that we need to discover still, but I think it's a great message of hope for everybody.